Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new video. Today I have for you the latest pattern release from Sew Over It, the Porsche dress. And as you know, I'm a pattern insider, so um, I got the pattern a few weeks before release uh, date. Of course, together with the other uh, pattern insiders. And we got to make our dresses, so now you can see a bunch of uh, different uh, versions of the Porsche dress. I made two of them. This one is just fresh uh, from the sewing machine and um, I'm really really excited about this pattern because it's, it's a really easy one to make. It's very easy. It's made for uh, jersey fabrics and um, it's, uh, it's taking maybe just a little bit longer than making a normal t-shirt. So I made my... Uh, so first of all, the, as I said, the Porsche dress is made for um, jersey fabrics and I made uh, this uh, two. This one is... Uh, I've got to cut the thread. This one is... Um, I think it's a viscose jersey, I would say. I did buy this one very cheap. I cannot remember exactly on which uh, web shop, but uh, I bought it because it was in an offer. It was really cheap and I was thinking, well, even... I was thinking, well, I don't really like the colors. And I'm going to use it for uh, twice if I want to have uh, to make a test garment for a pattern that is made for jersey fabrics. I'll usually use some very cheap uh, jersey that I have in my stash. And sometimes I even buy um, jerseys in, in sale. I think this one was maybe two euro a meter. Especially for, to have it uh, on hand when I need to make a test garment so I don't use the more expensive fabrics. But this one is really nice, it's very very soft, so I was thinking, well, I'm going to try it for this dress, for this pattern, and maybe it's going to work. And actually it feels very 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 nice. Uh, this one is um, um, a fabric, what they call here in the Netherlands, although I'm in Germany, uh, the travel jersey. And I'm not sure if everywhere in the world the travel jersey is the same, although I've seen also here different qualities. This one is uh, pretty uh, thin. You almost think that it's like a lycra, you know, that uh, you use for um, bathing suits, but it's not. It's, it's even softer. And actually it went really nicely on the sewing machine, on the serger, on the um, um, cover stitch machine. I did the, cover, the hems with the cover stitch. And this travel jersey went really, really nicely on all those machines with Universal 80 needle. So I was really surprised. It, it worked really, really nice. Um, so these were my fabric choices for, for the Porsche dress. I'm, I'm watching here in the video because I think it's, it's very, very dark, although I have a light, but the sun is very crazy today. It's going to rain. I don't know. Um, the Porsche dress. It has, of course, this uh, beautiful twist here in the front. It has, the front has a cut-on facing, the, the upper part of the bodice. It has, of course, um, center front seam. And the pattern, it comes um, in uh, two options. One is with uh, it's a color blocking where you have a side of the dress in one color and the other one in another color. And for that they used a center back seam of course. But, and the rest of the instructions in the pattern are if you use one fabric like this, you can of course skip the center back seam. Uh, but I didn't, I made a center back seam in both of these versions. And I'll tell you in a minute why. Um, I made my usual size 12. Usually in sewing it patterns, 95% of the times so I'll make a size 12. And depending on the, the type of the garment, I will bring, because I am a waist, uh, a size 10 in their patterns. Sometimes I'll bring it back in the waist at a, for a, at a 10. So just give it a bit more shaping. And I do know that in my previous dress, in the... what was the previous dress? In the Viola dress, in the viscose, woven viscose dress, I did not... I did just make... I just made um, a straight 12. But on this one, I had also a straight 12, but then I realized this was the first one I made, that it was really necessary to take it a little bit here in the waist, because it was not bringing everything nicely together. And for this one, of course, I just uh, I adjusted the pattern and I cut it directly with a size 10 here. And I will show you the pattern, how that looks. Um, let's see. This is the front. So to bring this to a 10, as you can see, this is, this is the front with the cut on facing here. And to bring my waist, uh, of course, to blend it really nicely from here, from the armhole uh, down, I just 
uh, draw here the seam allowance. The seam allowance on the pattern uh, almost everywhere, with the exception of the neckline, is uh, 5 eighths of an inch. So I drew the, the, the seam here at the waist piece in the front. I matched them and then I followed this. I, I did print uh, size 10 and 12 and then I uh, so I could blend it really nicely but it's important to to marry these two here at the seam at the stitching line and then uh, uh, blend everything um, another change because I have the front here I just brought the uh, shoulder seam back to a 10 because that's a narrow, sh narrow shoulder adjustment something that I make most of the time I think 99% of the time I'm, I'm making that in the sovereign patterns and for the back, of course, also here, I have, but uh, I, I noticed when I, when I had this one uh, cut, I did through the front to the back, or the back to the front, but I noticed that I still have here a little bit too much uh, around curvature, so I will have to straighten up this one a little bit, because I did straighten up when I was uh, sewing it on the serger, this is really exaggerated here. But um, this is what, so I went from uh, 12 to a 10, and coming back at the hips to a 12. Um, I was saying that I kept the uh, center back seam even I even if I, it was a, not necessary because I had only one, one, one fabric but having a center back seam it gives me the possibility to shape the back really nicely here. I don't know if you can see but the, the back is following very nicely my body. Um, on this one I did not do it I could go in and shape it a little bit more but I'm not going to bother because it's really soft and it's very nice but on this one you know I had the pattern so already done and I knew that I could go a little bit in so I went here a little bit in probably one centimeter and of course I also here as usually as I do in sewing patterns I made my uh, sway back adjustment so if you want a little bit of more shaping I will say keep that center back seam it's also uh, Seam allowance is one and a half centimeters. Keep that, and you have the possibility to get a little bit more uh, shaping on the on the back. Um, for the rest, so these are very easy changes that I made. Uh, the the dress itself, the original pattern has a little bit of a three quart sleeve. As you've seen, there is a uh, a dropped shoulder. I hope you can see this. This looks to me like really really dark. There is a drop shoulder, you can see the seam here, and the original um, sleeve is ending, let's see, well this is of course including the seam allowance for the elastic, it's a, a three, quarter of a, three quarter sleeve, something like that, but I really wanted long because I know that I like long sleeves, if they're, it's not necessary to be short, I will make them really long. So uh, to get them so to get them so long, I just measured from here the pattern, so the front piece <coughs> with the sleeve, and I decided that I wanted to add something like 15 centimeters. So I just added that directly on the sleeve, and this will be also an elastic allowance, let's say, for the elastic that I added here. I'm not sure how much they is the in the original pattern. But I used in this one, I had a small scrap of elastic of 3 cm, so I used that for this sleeve, for this dress, and for this one I used um, I used something that I have already for a really long time in my stash, I don't know why I bought this. It's, uh, I had 3 or 4 colors of this elastic, it's 2.5 cm, it's very very soft, and uh, I just uh, grabbed one of these and uh, measured around my wrist, a little bit uh, comfortable. Uh, stitch it with a zigzag on the sewing machine, so put it together the, the ends, well, you know, the shorter one. And then with the serger, uh, I first I uh, split, I, I marked uh, half of the elastic, half of the elastic of the sleeve, put it first with the serger and then the top stitch. With a straight stitch is really okay on the sewing machine. Um, but yeah. To get my sleeve like this, I added 15 centimeters from the original sleeve. You can see here I wrote it really, really big, not to forget for the next one. And uh, I'm very, very happy how, how it looks. Um, as I said, the dress has a, has a, a cut on uh, um, facing. 
so it's worked really nicely with the back here, with the back neck. Uh, another change that I made was to put the um, binding on the neckline, just one layer, stitch, uh, uh, stitch it, put it, turn it to the inside and then top stitch and just trim closely to the neckline. In the pattern instructions you have the more nicest finish where you have the binding double, you sew it and then you uh, trim, seam allowance a little bit and turn it and top stitch it. Um, and for the rest, oh yeah, of course, probably you noticed that, that I messed up with the first uh, um, wrapping. The idea was to put it like this, to have the uh, right over left. But I don't know what happened here, I did not pay attention how I came with the, um, you know, with the pieces. So here is wrapping wrong, or whatever, left over right, and here is the good one, the right over left. <laughs> it's not really bother. Well, it did bother me when I realized my mistake, but not so much to uh, take it out because I was afraid that the fabric is going to get damaged if I was going to mess up with taking stitches out and so. So I just let it like this. I think it's okay. Um, I I'm trying to remember if there is something that I wanted to talk about. For the rest, uh, the instructions are I think uh, more made to make the dress using the sewing machine. But to be honest, I just wished with the with the with the serger all over the place. There are some small bits here where you cannot finish really nicely and you cannot go really nicely with the with the serger. And I will say that, for example, here where the the knot uh, thing is happening at the center front, I did get in a little bit with the sewing machine and then with my serger because there are some tight places here where you cannot go exactly with the serger, especially because the seam allowance is one and a half centimeters and the serger of course is going to cut all over the place. Um, for the rest, uh, as I said, the elastic applied with the serger and then with the um, sewing machine, although in the instructions probably you have to make a channel, I hate making channels and put things through, and uh, the hem is done with the, um, uh, with the cover stitch machine and you see in the pictures the length that I made, both of them are the same length, is the longest length in the pattern. Yes, the longest one. And there is also, let's see, there is also a short and a shorter one, which is, um, I think it will be a little bit above the knee, or at the knee level, and this one is maybe 10 centimeters over the knee. Remember, I'm 169 centimeters and uh, well 169 one meter and 69 centimeters so you know you can relate a little bit to the to the length so this is it this was my Porsche dress from so over it I think it's a really nice one I'll try to probably you've seen already pictures here on the side I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up if you like the video you know it's it's I find it a little bit I, I wish I could touch every one of you and tell you please give me a like because I do have a lot of views on the, on the, on the well, no like is better than dislike but I hope you enjoyed the videos and I hope you enjoy my, my little um, previews here and uh, you know next uh, I have some other videos I'm going to try to put here in the, on the channel because next to sewing I also knit a lot and I want to make some videos about my knitting adventures and about the knitting needles that I collect I guess as the fabric, so um, and yarn and stuff. So I hope you join me in those videos too. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.